What is up everyone? My name is Dr. Grinch and welcome to Houston. We have a problem. This is a horror game based in, on the moon and I'm assuming you and another buddy who are astronauts have flown to the moon and something has gone horribly and terribly wrong. And we're gonna find that out. So, <clears throat> new game. <laughs> Music, I don't know about you guys, but to me it's very loud. Okay, we're in. That's the eagle. Okay, guy, you're breathing a lot. What the hell? We're all the engineers. <clears throat> well. I'm sure we'll find them, buddy. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Okay. <clears throat> so what I read about this game is um, I I thought I would have another um another astronaut here with me. Um, maybe I'll meet him in a little bit, but <clears throat> but um, from what I read and everything, what I saw. Oh God. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be that kind of game. Okay. I see you, cuz. Well, uh. What happened to their face? It's just black. It's. It's like the, uh. The, what is it? Marvin the Martian. The Loon Tune guy. Okay. So. We found our first dead bodies. <clears throat> can I do anything to them? I can move around. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh, I can jump. Lucky there. That's also kind of loud. Anyways. But, uh... Anyways, as I was saying, if I don't get jump scared again... Okay. Um... It was like, um... You and another astronaut go to the moon and everything, and... The, the video I watched on it... <clears throat> the, uh, trailer for it, I guess... It, uh, had you two kind of go over a hill or something like that. This guy found something, and something went horribly wrong, and you had to kind of figure out, like, what went wrong. But, um, right now, I'm just kind of, uh, I guess I'm just exploring the moon right now, kind of going to all these places. These little light things. Anything behind me? Oh, look at Earth right there. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, doesn't seem too bad, <clears throat> um, I'm hoping it'll pick up a lot later, oh god. It looks like some kind of base, well, perhaps there's aliens in it and they're gonna murder our faces. <clears throat> And they'll probably probe us, anally probe us. Oh, we're, okay. <clears throat> so I guess we're entering the alien base now. Hopefully they won't uh, anal probe us. Looky there. Is there anything else to this? Oxygen reserve is not enough for a long time. Need to find more. Oh, that was really loud and a little, little eerie. All right. Um, med pack. Anything? Anything? About, ooh, what's this? But the fact that we found no one should know. Do not give information to Earth. First, we must examine in detail the object number eight. We do not know how long will the study. We do not know how long will the study. But I ask you to keep it a secret. Okay. <clears throat> so the grammar's off a little bit, and I'm not sure. Uh, I'll give it the benefit of a doubt, I guess, but. 
Okay, I guess that means my oxygen is running low right there at the bottom. <clears throat> I keep pressing E to open stuff and do stuff, but it's uh, it's actually not. Uh, okay. C to crouch. Well, thank you for letting me know that. I guess we go here. Oh, okay. Need a key. Key for what? Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> okay, can I can I move? Okay. Um is this the key right here? Is this the key? Or is this just another message? <clears throat> I'm afraid to be alone with the object number eight. He has no defi eh. he has no definite form. What keeps him from leaving the cage? I think it is not what we study it. I think it is not we study it. I think it is not what we study it. He is studying us. Dr. Kozlov. Okay. Oh god! Well hello, sir! Fell through a pit of death and then appeared back. This music uh, really, or that music, it just oddly stopped out of nowhere. It reminded me um a lot of the uh, insidious music the movie, I mean. Okay, well I guess we gotta go back the other way and see if we can find a key to get through there. Okay. So, okay, I'm, I'm guessing that was number eight, the object number eight. Which didn't look too much like an alien. It was more of like a... I guess it could be more of like a prisoner up here. Or something. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, it probably is still an alien. Just not like, you know, stereotypical alien. Like, you know, the kind of alien that comes down to Earth and has the... Like the oval shaped kind of head. <clears throat> DO3000, electronic switch for doors. Powered by a specific. Uh -oh. oh god! What just happened? What? Oh, I think I ran out of oxygen! Well, I was looking for it! God! Okay. Oh, did I not save? Oh my god. Well guys, we'll be right back. One thing that I'd kind of like to point out real quick, um, while I'm on my way back to where I was, is that, um, <clears throat> uh, one kind of a small problem with this game, or problem that I have personally, is that when something pops up, you know, the music to it, like, comes up with it, you know, and it's really loud and everything, but it also, like, it doesn't, like, fade out or anything. It just goes away. It just, like, abruptly ends. And I don't like that too much. I mean, I would, I would kind of rather have, like, a fading out, you know. <clears throat> like, uh, the uh, first jump scare where you saw the two astronauts. You know, the, it had, like, the scream and some scary music to it. But you just walk a few feet and it all ends you know it's back to quietness and then with uh, the first encounter with subject number eight you know you had the uh, kind of a trickling little scary noises and everything and uh, you know you um it just went away after a few seconds all right guys we're back to where we were and I just picked up an oxygen tank there. Um, and it actually was a... I don't know. I wouldn't have spotted that out of a... Uh, you know... I wouldn't have spotted that right away. So maybe these oxygen tanks are going to be a bit hard to find. Not too hard, but you know, something you just might have to look a bit extra for. Which isn't too much of a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay, it's getting very dark here. It looks like the kitchen. Where are the women? 
JK. Ooh, ketchup. This is where we sat down and uh, had our little ketchup meals. That's all we had for uh, lunch on the spaceship, actually, is we just had ketchup and mustard. We didn't eat anything. We just squirted it all in our mouths. Okay. Not working. Okay. I don't know if that would have... Oh, God. What? Oh, sweet baby Christ. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey. You want to leave me alone? You want to fuck off? I cannot open this. Uh. Well. Guess we're fucked. What? It just... Uh... Oh. Uh... I'm a bit concerned. Key. I got a key. Is he gonna leave me alone for now? Or is it oxygen, I think? Okay. That'll be helpful. Okay, enough with the music! I get it! He was scary! Yes, he got me good. Okay, they, see? It just abruptly ends, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Don't feel too good about it. Okay, we have that key now. And we're gonna go back to, uh, we're gonna go back down here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to go through the store now. Now that we have the key. Yes, I know C to crouch. Um, also, let me see if I can save. Yes, save game. Okay. Uh, empty slot here. Okay. So we saved our game. Should have, at least. Okay. Boom. Can I go? Okay. And open. Cool. Oxygen. Can I get it? Oh, I can get this, though. Okay, that's good. Uh, is there anything useful in here? It looks like no. This is all pointless. I guess. Let me uh let me try doing this again. Maybe that'll trigger something. Oh yeah, to crouch. Yeah. Uh Hey buddy. Okay. I think actually I might just need to walk over here. No, okay, so this music kinda goes uh, um goes away after few seconds or you just walk far enough away from the area I guess but yeah I'd rather it kind of uh fade out or something uh oh I didn't even think about checking the lockers which I <gasps> see okay see the oxygen tanks it's I don't know it's they're kind of dark colored so it kind of blends in with the uh the environment around them <clears throat> so makes them a bit harder, but not too much harder to find. Let me just read this again, just see if it does anything. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything in the lockers? Oxygen tanks! Looky there. I didn't even think about checking lockers, too. Um, sure. Oh, God. I got turned around. Okay. Okay. Um, guess we'll go through this door now. And see what space hell awaits us. Okay, that door has been busted down. Uh, oxygen. Check this right here. Okay. We found him in a cave on the dark side of the moon. The most amazing thing that the object number eight not resist. We put in a container and taken to the base. The object does not show aggression, but there is some very uncomfortable. I don't know if the person who made this game speaks English. If he does, then he's probably a fifth grader or something. Okay. I'm glad I'm finding more oxygen now. Uh, ooh, what's this? <clears throat> uh, 
Anyone who watched the object number 8 describe it differently. One said that the object looked like a spider with 10 legs. The other was talking about a clown with a mace. But I see him a rotten dog with human growth. It seems the object raises fears of everyone and is presented in a certain way. Is something going to pop up behind me? No, okay. I had a strong feeling that that was going to happen. Well, that's a very ominous long hallway. Okay. So... I think I've searched every way I could go on here. So I guess I can go back out? Or no? Well, what am I supposed to do? Uh, wait. What if I try the vents? No? Uh, I might die again. Let me quickly, uh, save real quick, actually. Just in case I find something real quick. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's try going on here again. Is there any more oxygen anywhere? Maybe not. I don't think so. I got all. I think I got all the. Excess oxygen, oxygen. Um, I might die. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what I need to do. And hopefully by that time, if I die, I guess I'll, you know, I'll just pop up and go straight there. Or something, maybe I don't, I don't know. I do not know. But I can't seem to find my way out of this. Um, none of the rooms leading anywhere else, I guess. Um, let's try here again. Oh, wait. This door. Can I open this? I need biofuels. What does that mean? Uh, biofuels. What is biofuels? What? Oh. Okay, I guess it was nothing. Okay, so I think I need to do something here. Uh. Doors, okay. Okay, so. Is there a way I can find out what kind of biofuel that is? Love to know. Maybe there's some stuff in here. Is there any oxygen left in here? Not working. Uh, what? Oh, I died. It kind of scares me every time because it's just so sudden. Okay. Okay, I'm back where I was when, whenever I saved, so we're going to quickly just go down here. Uh, oh, God. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to go back in here and try to... Since we have a bit more time, we're going to see if we can search some stuff out. And see if we can't find anything else. I don't know what to do. Um, I might have to look this up actually, because uh, I can't figure this out. Um, but, anyways, I think that's going to be all the time I have for this episode. Um, I'll probably do another one. Uh, oh yeah, that's just that. But yeah. Um, I'll just come back to this uh, later. And see if I can can't uh, kind of figure out at least kind of what direction I need to go in. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'm having a little bit of fun with it. Um, I'll give my full opinion on it after I actually finish it. But um, for right now, uh, this is gonna be the end of this episode, and I'll start you guys back on another one in a, a, 
uh, later, I guess. Sorry. I can't talk right now. Um, but yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to share it if you like it. Uh, you know, share it with your friends and stuff. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more. And yeah, sorry I'm bad at outros. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.